You know, when a child is battling cancer, it shakes an entire family's world. But one sibling at Husp Elementary in Frisco is helping everyone around cope. Here's Channel A's Teresa Woodard with tonight's WFAA Original. A big wave is coming. Stand up. No day in kindergarten is complete without story time. What a great day. And snack time. Okay, 30 more seconds. Without learning to write. With your pencils and your crayons. To follow directions. I swear it. And to make friends. What was that? Of all kinds. He's Eli. Oh. Eli the monkey is as much a part of Mrs. Han's class. Okay, says Pete. As the little boy whose chair he fills. So just like any other day that if Eli was here, he gets to do all of those things with us. So he's still a part of our classroom in spirit. A chair that would otherwise because the other Eli sick sit empty. If not for Sarah Jacobson. <laughs> Down the hall in third grade. I bring a monkey in a backpack to school because he represents my brother, but he's a monkey coming to school instead of him. <laughs> Sarah's bright smile hides a worried heart. So it's kind of rough on a sister with a brother who's really sick. So she's Eli the monkey's main caretaker and Eli the boy's big sister. He's a very joyful kid. I mean, he's funny, he's sweet, he's happy. He's basically a smaller version of my parents. Eli Jacobson is seven and fighting acute lymphocytic leukemia. Go take that back in first, thank you. Because of a seriously compromised immune system. Jump to the tree. The spring semester of kindergarten was out of the question for the real Eli. When we like cough or sneeze, our body can fight off that. But with Eli, that's another story. He has a hard time doing that. So the stuffed one. He's basically like a second brother. <laughs> Monkey says thank you. Became a stand-in. Yes, it is. <laughs> Helping a seven-year-old battle. I want him to know that everyone at school, they love him and that he's being supported. I want him to know that he's not being left out and that monkey here is taking its place. An eight-year-old cope. It makes me feel good to be a part of this because I know that he's going through a lot, so it makes me feel happy to be doing something for him. And making a kindergarten class complete. I love him a lot. Teresa Woodard. Ooh, ooh. Monkey says that he agrees. Channel 8 News. Eli Jacobson's uh, prognosis is good. He is currently undergoing treatment. His family, his school family, hope he is able to return to class sometime during his first grade year.